South Africa sustains very high levels of unemployment that have been with us for decades, since the mid-1980s. About half of our population lives in abject poverty and we have the highest level of inequality in the world. Unless we make real sustained progress in reversing those problems, it's very difficult to have a growth process that everybody's going to buy into. During the commodity boom of the 2000s, perhaps we, like the rest of the world, thought that this time is perhaps different and that we had entered a new path of rapid growth that would be with us for some time. But it's become clear to us since then that growth is much lower. In fact, each year since 2010 or so, growth has decelerated in South Africa. As growth uh, has declined, increasingly the fiscal challenges we face and the, the problems of productivity in the economy have become more and more apparent. So really we've reached a point where we hope that we're at the bottom of a cycle and we'll see some recovery and growth in the years ahead. Many of the challenges we face are not actually challenges of economic policy. They're challenges of social policy. Our cities were very consciously engineered in the period of apartheid to exclude people from economic access. We need to change that structure of residential patterns. We also need to address education. Because I think if we're talking about redistribution of assets in a, in a modern economy, probably the most important asset is what would be called human capital. Spatial transformation, education uh, policy and some other aspects of social policy are actually important both for directly addressing uh, inequality and poverty, but also for creating stronger conditions for rapid economic growth. Policymakers these days love to talk about evidence-based uh, policy making and, and we would hope that the decisions that we're making uh, as government are based on evidence. South Africa, um, compared to many other developing countries, has a, has a wealth of statistics, a wealth of data and also has a wealth of um, academic analysis that can be brought to bear on policy problems. Of course, that's only one element of, of the policy process. Our capacity to implement uh, whatever policies we arrive at is important. And of course, politics and political economy are critical uh, in moving forward any policy process. Thank you.